Ensenada is particularly crazy because a lot of people, they're going to meet the boats down there, and it just turns into one gigantic hell-raising party. You go ashore, get drunk. But uh, if you're smart, you stay away from who songs. So a lot of people I know, uh, they get thrown in jail. What are you guys going to do when you get to Ensenada? Down there? No. Oh. <laughs> Better stay out of jail. Funny thing well, I saw a couple of years ago, they had the paddy wagon out in front of Husons loading it up on the police. They're pushing them in the back as fast as they can. The guys are going right through the truck, over the front seat, out the front door. <laughs> they put 4,000 guys in that truck. <laughs> I just love Mexico. I mean, it's people speaking a different language, different customs. Something nice about that country. It's just a, it's nice to be in surroundings that are different than your own, you know. It, it just gives you a sense of yourself you don't get when you're in your own country. Ensenada is pretty rough when you get there, but it's an experience. You just ought to do it. It's my first time in Mexico. I'm looking forward to it. I hear it's a real wild time. I suppose that the population of Ensenada is temporarily tripled when the fleet gets in. So that's a spectacle and it's fun. It's, it's not far down the coast. It's, what, 80 miles south of the border, but it might as well be 8,000, you know? It's a, it's a whole different world. <laughs>